Good morning, this is ASUS All-in-One PC, the model number V222FAK-WA152W. To replace the hard drive to SSD, first of all we need to switch it off and open the front panel, I mean the screen panel from the back to get access into the hard drive and pull this off and put the SSD in. So first of all we're going to switch it off disconnect the power cable I mean the charger and also we need to have some sort of tools like Phillips screwdriver one of the major one that you need I always use iFixit tools it's quite good comfortable and the screw heads are really strong okay so let's take out the charger I mean DC adapter and then mouse keyboard and any external devices okay and that screen is quite flat and it doesn't have that much frame into it so that's why to take this out is a kind of risky job okay so when you try this one make sure you try it at your own risk and spend enough time to do that if you do rush you'd end up with broken screen okay so be careful so first of all check the model number because sometimes asus laptop i mean all in one pc looks similar but uh, they have different strategy to disassemble it. So make sure uh, the model number should be same, especially the first seven digits. For example, this one V for Victor, triple two, Freddy Alpha Kilo. That's the model number. And then the last six, if it doesn't match, that's okay. This one came out on 2024. But still, they installed hard drive, 2.5 inch hard drive instead of SSD. So first of all, let's get back to the point. We're going to take out these four screws from the bottom. And that would be ready to spudger from the top panel. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. Hopefully you do enjoy it. And don't forget to leave any comment into the comment section. And if you do like, don't forget to share it. And subscribe this channel so there are the four screws already removed and now we're going to start from the front panel as i said the frame is really hidden and very fine and slim so when you use any sort of metal tool please be careful okay it took about 15 to 20 minutes to pull this out okay i'm just fast forwarding this video to make it shorter but it is not that simple and easy. I started from two sides because I can see there are hooks underneath. It's some sort of anchor, you know. Three on that side on the right, three on the left, and on the top also many. So I, I had to go through like this for 15 to 20 minutes and then finally it came off. So carry on that way, use multiple tools. Always try not to do rush because if you go too deep, and spudgery, you might crack the screen, okay? You don't need to be over cautious, also you don't need to do hurry. Just carry on slowly, slowly. Give it a check and it should be popped out easily, okay?
At this point, we need to carefully disconnect this LCD flex cable connector. There are two buckles, so push it inwards and then pull this off. And here is the fine cable. Also be careful when you disconnect it. And this is the power one. I didn't disconnect it all other one except this LCD one. Okay. Because sometimes it feels it's very flimsy and weak. So I just taken out the power cable connector very carefully, put it flat. I left it connected because I don't want it. I don't feel comfortable to pull this out. I just put beside, side to side. And now we're going to get to this hard drive, which located on the right hand side, secure with few screws with the caddy. So we're going to take this off by removing those screws first. Finally, it came off. Now, this 2.5 inch set of hard drive secure with four screws with the caddy. So, you're going to put side by side and check the alignment. You can use same screwdriver if this is correct, Phillips. And then we're just going to swap it. By the way, my SSD 2.5 inch set of SSD already cloned means we already copied the entire system from this hard drive to this SSD so the customer doesn't lose any of his data okay if you'd like to know how to clone the system you may let me know by leaving a comment I produced a couple of videos how to clone it still if you want something easier let me know I will produce one so that is almost ready to go I checked the screws are completely secured. And I don't know why in 2024 still they added hard drive instead of SSD, which makes the system really slow and poor. Let's put it back. And then we'll reconnect the power cable and reverse back what we actually done. And then we will power up the system and see if the SSD recognized and reloaded correctly.